All right, so we got a, a new Beta FPV all-in-one whip board here. This one has 20 amp ESCs, and they've moved the power connector to the back. It's a slightly different layout, but I think it's pretty similar to the one that was 12 amps. And this is the one that came out previously, and you can see here the power is coming out the side instead of the back. So the back would be like right here. And this is where you have the, the horizontal um, USB ports. So some of you guys were wondering, wondering what the differences were, and so this is why you have this video. I think the solder pads are definitely a little bit bigger for the motor wires, which I think is good because you're probably going to put this on something bigger or something with motors that are going to draw a lot more amps. Um, otherwise, going to this 20 amp board doesn't make much sense because 12 amps is going to be pretty good for most toothpick type builds. I'm thinking that yeah, on the for the 20 amp board here, you're probably going to go something with like a 4 inch or maybe an ultralight 5 inch in a whip style for something like this because, um, yeah, uh, like an 1103 to even like a 1303 motor is not going to draw much more than 12 amps per ESC. But you can see here's the layout on the top, and you got your 4, it's a bit the same target, may take a 411, you got your OSD chip, MPU 6000 gyro. A little bit different components and the boot buttons in a different spot. And then on the back, obviously, uh, bigger ESCs. I think the FETs are you know, obviously rated to 20 amps, but yeah, I can't tell just by looking at the ESCs what's different about them. But a uh, bigger current sensor there, right there. You can see the current sensor much larger on the 20 amp versus the, the 12 amp is right there, pretty tiny. And then if you go back even further, to the, this is the original 12 amp with the USB port coming out of the bottom and the motor plugs, quite a bit different. And of course the newer ones have the um, capacitors on the XC30, so. And this is what mostly people were asking about is what the weight differences are. So 9.9 .9 grams, this is the 20 amp and the 12 amp is nine and a half grams, and the 12 amp old school, 7.7 grams. So this one doesn't have a capacitor, but it does have motor plugs on them. So yeah, some differences there. Also, I think uh, when you look at the thicknesses of the boards here, mm, I don't know, looks pretty close. Uh, what do you guys think? Does it look thicker on the 20 amp? 20 amps here on the uh, right hand side. And how does that compare to the original 12 amp? Looks like it's actually thinner than the original 12 amp. So, yeah, I think, uh, you yeah, know, where, where would the extra weight be coming from? Maybe a little bit longer plug? For, no, it doesn't seem that much longer. I don't think the fits are that much heavier. Could be. It's about half a gram heavier than the 12 amps. So, again, if you don't need 20 amps, then yeah, just go with the 12 amp. That's the original. That, will, that should be fine for most situations. I think 20 amps is going to be overkill for most uh, toothpick style builds, but for something bigger, uh, definitely this could be useful. And I like the fact that the plug is coming out of the back now. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.